questions on T3A before we move along? Nothing? Okay. No. Uh, radio and electromagnetic wave properties, the electromagnetic spectrum, wavelength versus frequency, uh, velocity of electromagnetic waves, what's the name for the distance a radio wave travels during one complete cycle is the question. Uh, it's called the wavelength. And in the graphic here, you can see the wavelength shown between peaks. Okay? It can actually be between any two, uh, the, the same two points on any, uh, any two waves. Here we have a peak on this wave to a peak on this wave. That's a wavelength. Also, you can have a, it's a wavelength from this positive going uh, zero crossing. This line here is zero voltage. Uh, so we've got one positive going zero crossing to the next positive zero going cross, uh, positive going zero crossing. Okay, that would also be one wavelength. It would typically be the same as that on a, on a regular sine wave like you see here and so on. So any two points on there from one to the next one is one wavelength. Okay. Also here is uh, the, uh, in terms of the frequency of it, or the number of vibrations, this wavelength is also one cycle. Okay, so there's no real difference between one cycle and one wavelength. They're just drawn in different places here. But uh, uh, the wavelength is peak to peak is an easy way to think of it. Or another really common way to think of it is from the zero crossing to the zero crossing. And the frequency is the number of cycles per second. Number of cycles per second. Okay, so the distance a wavelength, uh, a radio wave travels during one complete cycle is the wavelength. Uh, this is an important thing when you get to antennas because the correct length for an antenna depends on the length of the wave. So when you change frequency, uh, you change uh, wavelength, which means you have to change the antenna length to have a correctly functioning antenna. And we'll get into that more as we, we go on through the, the course here. Any questions on this before I move on from it? No. Okay. And the other thing is that the vertical here reflects the amount of power uh, that's in the way. Okay. What term describes the number of times per second that an alternating current reverses direction? Uh, that's not quite technically correct for this answer, but this is the test answer, so I'll learn it. Uh, it's frequency, the number of times per second, number of, the number of cycles per second. Uh, is called the frequency. Okay. Uh, what are the two components of a radio wave? They are electric and magnetic fields. They are perpendicular to each other. Here we see the magnetic field component of this wave, and you can see that it's a vertical component. Here you see the electrical field component. It's a horizontal component, and in this case our antenna is oriented horizontally because it's the electric field that we refer to when we talk about the, the polarization of a, of a radio wave. How fast does a radio wave travel through free space? Travels at the speed of light. Travels at the speed of light. Uh, how does the wavelength of a radio wave relate to its frequency? The wavelength gets shorter as the frequency increases. And this graphic shows that fairly well. Uh, here we have radio waves, which are fairly low in frequency, and the waves are long. Here we go into microwaves, which are higher in frequency. The waves get shorter. Here we go to visible light, which is, again, much higher frequency than radio waves. The waves get shorter. X-rays, shorter still. Gamma rays, shorter still. So as the frequency goes higher, the uh, wavelength gets shorter. Any question on that? No. Okay. What's the formula for converting frequency to wavelength in meters? The wavelength in meters equals 300 divided by the frequency in megahertz. I've done, I put that down here for you. 300 divided by the frequency in megahertz. Let's take a look at the 6 meter band here. And 50 megahertz is one of our frequencies. Okay, so we take the 300, we divide it by 50, and we get 6 meters, all right? Uh, and we refer to um, 
uh, bands by their approximate wavelength. We talk about the 6 meter band, we talk about the 2 meter band, and so on. And that's a reflection of their approximate wavelength. And uh, um, here in the 2 meters, it's not quite exactly right. That's why I like to use 6 meters. For 6 meters, it's easy to see that 300 divided by 50 equals 6. Uh, the, exact, the, the exactly correct frequency for 2 meters would be 150 megahertz, which is outside the band over here but we still refer to this as the two meter band because it's approximately two meters. What are the frequency limits of the VHF spectrum? Uh, they are from 30 to 300 megahertz. A hertz is one hertz is one cycle per second. Here we'll we're talking about millions of hertz or millions of cycles per second and the uh, frequencies that we call VHF go from 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz. Now let me give you a caution when you take the test. I had a fellow who took the technician test, oh I guess it's been about four months ago now. Uh, he was in a hurry and he looked at his test and one of the distractors that they give you for this question is 30 to 300 kilohertz. And he grabbed that one. It was the only question he missed on the whole test. Because he, he grabbed it because he didn't read carefully enough. So if you get this question on your test, uh, be sure to read what the unit is. Uh, what are the frequency limits of the UHF spectrum? It's from 300 to 3,000 megahertz. Notice that these are 10 times these. Each of these, each of these groups of frequencies is 10 times the, uh, the frequency range of the previous one. Mm -hmm. What frequency range is referred to as HF, or high frequency? It's from 3 to 30 megahertz. Okay? Uh, the V here is very high frequency, the U is ultra high frequency, and the HF is just high frequency. Okay, what is the approximate wavelength of a radio wave as it travels through free space? We already said it's the speed of light. That is 300 million meters per second. Okay? This is where our magic number of 300 comes from for figuring out the, uh, the wavelength in meters. Uh, we're, we have million meters per second here. Uh, we have megahertz, which are millions of cycles per second. So we can just get rid of these other zeros, divide the number of megahertz into the 300, and we get the wavelength. Mm -hmm. 